Sarah Fergie Ferguson says she totally understands why the royal family didn't invite her to Prince William and Kate Middleton's wedding back in 2011. The 61-year-old Duchess of York is the ex-wife of Prince Andrew and the mother to William's cousins, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, and was noticeably absent from the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's nuptials which took place shortly after she was caught on camera promising a reporter access to Prince Andrew in exchange for 500,000 pounds, which for reference converts to about $690,000. Now she's opening up to Town & Country magazine and addressing the controversy. Quote, I didn't think I was probably worthy to go to their wedding. I took myself to Thailand, actually, to be far away from it so that I could try and heal. And while Fergie didn't get the invite to Kate and William's I do's, she did get one for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's 2018 wedding. And she thanked them on Good Morning Britain after the big day. It was very kind of them. And I think I think that the, I can't I can't thank them enough for yeah. doing that because it was it was nerve wracking. And the Is crowd it... were all cheering. That must have been a great. Wants to cry. <laughs> I mean, it must have been. It, well, it was. It was quite extraordinary. I, I really sort of looked around and thought, are they sort of doing it for me? And, um, and then some went Fergie, and it was the old Fergie back, yeah. you know. And I felt that sense of support. As for the rift between William and Harry, Fergie declined to comment, but did say this. Quote, I believe that Princess Diana would be so proud of her boys, and she'd be so proud of her grandchildren. There's clearly still a lot of hurt a lot of resentment and a degree of mistrust, I think, on both parts. Fergie's statement echoes what royal expert Katie Nichol told ET, leading up to the brothers' reunion earlier this month to unveil a statue of their late mother on what would have been her 60th birthday. Diana always said to them, boys, stay close, don't ever fall out. She would be devastated that that is what's happened and she would be wanting them to be there together for that unveiling of the statue in her honor. The unveiling came amid reports that the brothers are at odds. Following Harry's decision to step back from his senior royal duties in 2020 and his explosive tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey earlier this year. I think both of them have wanted today to be about the statue, about remembering Diana's legacy and not about the rift that has really overshadowed the coverage of the royal family for the past 18 months now. So they clearly went to a lot of effort to deflect from this rift between the two of them and instead to project on their mother, her legacy, and crucially, putting on a united front to remember Diana, their mother, on what would have been her 60th birthday. Noticeably absent from the unveiling, Harry's wife, Meghan, who gave birth to the couple's second child, Lilibet Diana, just weeks earlier in June. And on Monday, the palace announced that the tiny tot has officially been added to the royal line of succession. Lilibet is eighth in line to the British throne, one place behind her big brother Archie and two behind her dad, who is currently sixth in line to Queen Elizabeth's throne. As for Harry, the 36-year-old announced earlier this month that he plans to release a memoir in 2022 that will cover, quote, experiences, adventures, losses, and life lessons that have helped shape him. There are still many parts of Harry's life, particularly his younger life, that have yet to be explored. And he has promised us a no-holds-barred autobiography, a memoir in which he is able to be wholly truthful about his life, a memoir that will surely have the royals very nervous, very apprehensive about exactly what's to come. We've learned from Harry that when he does these tell-alls, they really are exactly that. I mean, if you look at the Oprah interview, it was explosive. So I think we're expecting the same thing from a book.